Hey guys, it's Sean with Stump Moving and Storage. And today I'm here to teach you how to pad and protect piano benches. Now this is very easy. It's almost along the lines of the video that we did teaching you how to pad and protect end tables, except piano benches are a little longer. Now the technique we'll be using today is called diapering. And diapering is whenever you lay the moving pad out on the ground, flat, flush. And you take the item that you want to pad and you put it inside of the pad at an angle. And then we take each corner and bring it up and over. For those of you guys who have elected to move yourself, this is the best way and the professional way to pad wrap. For everybody else who's in the moving and storage industry or maybe just starting out, this is a great tutorial that will teach you how to professionally pad wrap. If you learned something, hit that like button for me and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos that will teach you how to prepare for your move. And just like that, we'll get into it. To professionally pad and protect a piano bench when moving, we're gonna need one moving pad and one large rubber band. Then we're gonna take this moving pad and we're gonna spread it out onto the ground with the inside facing up just like this. Now we're gonna take that piano bench and place it at an angle in the center of the pad. With the moving bench in hand, flip it upside down, placing the top down with the legs up. And working side to side, we're gonna Bring the pad up over top of the legs, just like this. Now it's time to take one of these large rubber bands right here and place it around the legs that will hold the pad into place. But it's important to note, if you have an older piano bench, one that's dry rotted, one that's a little weak, these rubber bands add tension and that could cause the legs to break. For the purposes of this exercise, we're assuming that your piano bench at home is sturdy and there's nothing wrong with it. Again, this one here is sturdy and there's nothing wrong with it. So we are going to be using this rubber band. And for most piano benches we come across on a day-to-day -day basis, we're going to be doing this technique. The only time that we won't use this technique is if the piano bench is weak, dry rotted, or shows signs of some kind of fracture. And before I put this band on, if you guys need any of the equipment to get this job done, whether it's pads or bands, go ahead and take a look in the description below. We have everything you need to get this job done listed right down there. Now, we're gonna take this large rubber band and we're gonna wrap it around the legs, starting on this side. We're gonna crisscross it in the middle and we're gonna wrap it on that side. Now crisscrossing in the middle will hold this middle part of the pad in place. Check it out. And you can pull this down as far as you need to ensure the pad stays in place. And just like that, you have a professionally padded and wrapped piano bench, ready to be loaded into the moving truck. While well, watching this video, if something popped into your mind, if you have a question about how to pack a specific item that we don't cover here, go ahead and let us know in the comment section below. And don't just stop there, guys. We love to share industry knowledge. We've been in the business since 1936, and with all of that time comes a wealth of knowledge that we're happy to share with you. So go ahead, ask away. Just leave it right down in the comment section below. If you stuck around this long, I know you enjoyed the video and I know you learned something. So go ahead and hit that like button for me and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos that will teach you how to prepare for your move. This is a little off topic here, but I know I have some industry professionals watching this video. And if you're looking for a career change, if you're located in the Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania area, we are hiring and we're hiring truck drivers and movers. And a CDL is not a requirement for employment. That's right, a regular driver's license will do. So if you're interested in working with us, you could go ahead and take a look at our website. It's linked right here. From there, just follow it on down to the career tab and drop us a line. We'd love to hear from you guys. We're looking to expand and we'd love to have you on our team. And until next time, thanks for watching.